Anyways, Battlefield 5, Battlefield V. What what are your thoughts on the on the trailer? I mean, actually, yeah. What are your thoughts on the trailer for a start? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's a better better Just place overall. to start. What are my thoughts on the trailer? I thought it was a pretty dumb looking trailer. Now I like World War Two setting. I love Battlefield. It's my favorite multiplayer first person shooter to play. <laughs> um, I'm not a COD guy. I've never been a COD guy. Battlefield's my shit. Um, and you know, World War Two is an awesome setting for, it, and I'd love to see Battlefield do it. So I'm excited. And I was excited leading into this trailer. And the mm. graphics obviously look beautiful. The action looks great. Um, but I'm confused as to... I don't like... I hate in these... My, okay, my favorite part about Battlefield... The reason I love Battlefield and it's uh, and I talk shit about Call of Duty and the reason I go to Battlefield is because I want a more realistic, skillful experience in a first-person shooter multiplayer. Like, it's about how good you are in a realistic war zone setting where you've got a variety of things that can happen mm -hmm. with vehicles, air combat, you're on the ground, you know, there's just a whole variety of skills and it's all about playing the objective. It's all about team based work. You know, you know, you can kill as many people as you want, but that doesn't make, mean you're going to get the best score in the game or even win the game. You need to play the objective. You need to help your team out. You actually need to work together. Like I love that about battlefield, even with the mm -hmm. big scope of it. Now, watching this trailer and you've got these super soldiers that they've got shit going on all around and they're surviving everything. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Battlefield mm. isn't some steampunk, unrealistic looking thing. I don't give a fuck about a woman being in battle. I don't care enough. It doesn't, you know, it just, it, it's exhausting to even worry about that to me. So that maybe would have annoyed me about a week ago. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I was like, whatever. Like, women did fight in the wars, not in for the British army. But, like, in Soviets and French, there were women. Like, whatever. I don't care. But, like, they're going for a steampunk style. And the dude, whoever the guy you were playing like playing as, the first-person perspective, <clears throat> he was just surviving everything and diving and jumping and, you know, not even taking cover. Like, literally just lying down on the ground and shooting and killing a bunch of people. I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Like, yeah. what is that? Mm. Um, it's not, not a... yeah, so, my thing is the female controversy. My thing is just it <clears throat> looked ridiculous. It looked like cop looks. That's a cop yeah, trailer. Yeah, I agree. What the fuck? That's not what I play Battlefield for. If I wanted to play bullshit first-person shooter games, I'd play COD. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, think, bro. I mean, I think, yeah. My main criticism is the trailer made it look more like COD. They're going for like this whimsical sort of, oh, look how silly we are. Look at all our customization and all these funny dialogue lines. And it's like that's not really why I play Battlefield. Um. I, like, the thing is, like, I've said to people, I don't care, obviously, about women in video games. Like, some people would like to, like, make out that that's what the criticism is about. Horizon what Zero Dawn. What was your Dawn, favorite game last year, by the way? Yeah. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite games game? of all time. I have no problem playing as only women, because you, if, you, if you do care, you, you're insane. Um, yeah. What but, was last year? Well, let's get through just last year, our favorite games. Lost Legacy, the yeah. main two characters, both were women. Horizon Zero Dawn, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which Aqua was yeah, the main exactly. fucking character in. Like, Great three of my top games. five games of last year were all women focused. Exactly. It's not a sexism thing. Like, no, there's, you don't get this amount of criticism for Rainbow Six Siege having female soldiers or Call of Duty Futuristic Man 3 having female soldiers. That's not, I don't think that's a real COD game, but I don't know, yeah. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, you don't get you don't get people getting angry because Unity had women assassins in the co-op. <laughs> like, no one... <laughs> but the thing with, uh, I was going to say Far Cry 5, the thing with Battlefield 5 is it's not just the fact that they've got Fem British female soldier on the front lines of World War Two, which doesn't make sense, but it's not just they've never, got never that. happened ever. You've got once, never. Happened. Exactly, and that's the thing, right? They handled women incredibly well in Battlefield One. You only had women as a certain division and for certain um, like uh, military. So if you're playing as the Soviet military, the sniper class was a female soldier because that was you know near enough yeah. historically accurate. Whereas what they're portraying in Battlefield Five is that. You can just, if you just want to be a woman, you just can. And it's like, I mean, I, I guess, but like, I I know why you're doing this. It's not because you thought, oh, this would be really epic and awesome. It's obviously a political agenda. And I like, it is exhausting because I, I understand why this is happening. And the criticism doesn't come from, are oh, you just scared of women? No, I'm not. What the fuck kind of an argument is that? It's genuine <laughs> criticism against not just that. 
but the direction they're taking Battlefield 5 in as a whole from that trailer. And a lot of people that have actually seen the game have said that trailer is, is nothing like what the game actually even is, apparently. But obviously Which we'll is have what to I wait thought as to well. find out. It's also what I thought. So, yeah. there's that. I mean, who fucking knows what they're doing? But, I mean... I've, I've also the fucking argument that i hate seeing is people saying oh you want realistic gameplay or you want a realistic game well then you should have all of these things it's like dumb shit it's like oh you have to spend like two hours real time traveling to the battlefield and it's like no no that's not what we mean yeah, is okay. it yeah that's yeah. not no like there's a difference between realistic gameplay and real realistic context of like the setting that you're in it's like it'd be like i'd be just as annoyed if we were suddenly going into outer space or fighting aliens. It's like, all of it is unrealistic stuff that is sort of, like, clearly put in there just to be, you know, over the top. Like, with all this, like, face pa face paint and, like, you've got the prosthetic limbs and you've got, like, these silly, like, outfits where they've got, like, these dumb logos on. It's like, what is going on? Like, that's not... Like, I don't want... Yeah. I don't want this. Um, so I think... I th my main issue with it and the main reason I'm defending the criticism is not because I care, because I might not even play the game, is because I yeah. can't stand oh, these people dismissing the, the criticism. I don't. I don't like people dismissing it as, "Oh, you're just a sexist hater." Because like that's not true. That's not what's happening. Like there's genuine criticism, um, yeah, involved. And you know, people are just dismissing that, and that's what's bothering me the most. I think. Like literally, if yeah, I don't know. I don't. I yeah. My focus. I, as soon as I saw the woman and that she was British, as soon as the British voice, I was confused. <clears throat> but I was mostly confused with like, I'm like, well, okay, I guess. But then there's like this met claw arm and someone's like, well, that actually is real. I'm like, yeah, no, I know. But it's not that that's not real. It's that I promise you in the millions of people that died and more millions that fought in the World War II, there wasn't ever at any point one female British woman on the front lines with a metal arm like that ever. Never happened once, ever, ever. Yeah. So no. So no. So no, yes, that's why so that's dumb. And also, no one in the world, in that first-person perspective of the man that was the character the person was playing as, could survive that ridiculous situation that they put his character in. But I also don't care about the realism in the sense of, again, it's a video game, but what was that trailer trying to tell us? I just yeah, got nothing from bad. the trailer. It was a bad I got fucking nothing trailer. from it. It just yeah. made no sense. There's no <clears throat> real context. It was just a whole lot of shit happening. And I also know, like you said, but I also knew watching, I'm like, that's not even what the game's going to be like. Yeah. Because I'm going to play the game and it'll be exactly like every Battlefield game is, but in World War II. Because that's what it will be. So, I'm looking forward what to seeing even some gameplay. Because I'm, I'm, I don't care about, like... No, no, like, I mean, I get the criticism, but I'm not necessarily the one... I'm just I'm just defending the criticism, because I can't stand yes. when people are dismissing it. That's, that's like, my thing. Whereas, I'm not actually sitting there going, oh my god, I'm so mad at this, because I really don't care. I mean, yeah. I mean, I care in the sense that I'm, I'm concerned... Like, when it, well, I mean, I'm not anymore, because EA have come out and said, and people that have seen it have said, that trailer really is not representative of the game. Like, that's a really weird trailer. Um, but when I first saw it, I was concerned to be like, okay, so if this is what they're doing here, how much more of this game is gonna be this fucking stupid? Like, is this whole game just, yeah. like, turning Battlefield on its head? Like, what's going on? And so obviously we've got to wait and see, but, uh, yeah, I'm more defending the fact that people's criticism's valid and it's not blind sexism, because it's fucking not. Like, Horizon Zero Dawn did not get this much fucking hate. Like, the dislikes on on the Battlefield 5 trailer are fucking, like, overpowering. Um, and Horizon oh, really? didn't get that. I didn't that. know that. Hellblade didn't get that. Um, fucking, you know, Kingdom Hearts, Lost Legacy, uh, Rainbow Six Siege with their female soldiers in Call of Duty. They don't get that. And so, obviously, anyone just saying, this is just, you're just sexist, it's just sexism, it's just sexist hating. No, it's not, is it? Otherwise, they would have done that with every other property that contained only female characters that you could play as wouldn't they but they didn't so it's obviously not sexism it's obviously some genuine criticism obviously there's g gonna be some people but that's not even like relevant yeah. because that's the same with everything you're gonna have those people because that's not that's not that's nowhere near the fucking majority um so you know you got people like fucking what's his name from ubisoft 
bloody uh, fucking Andy calling everyone sexist for having that. You oh, know, who, oh, who cares whatever. what he thinks? Who it gives is... a f- Oh, yeah, oh no, I, a f- I don't care either, but Amir, Amir told me that's what he said to him, so that was just, like, the one that I had in my head for an actual example. Oh, okay. But, um... Yeah, okay. Like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And obviously you've got, well, you've got that happening, so, you know. I mean, the only people that are, like, don't understand the criticism and it must be sexist, and if, and, and if, you know, again, if anyone tweets that out, like, well, if you think that you're sexist, and then someone, res- people respond saying, no, here's legitimate criticism... <laughs> look at all the white supremacists that got together yeah. and comp- <laughs> you know comment on my thread. Yeah, what a waste of time fucking bunch of dickheads but it's like I think I like that there is that many dislikes because I think it shows that people this isn't what people want for Battlefield for a start like people are like we don't want all this crazy yeah. shit like this is not a good trailer um, we can see that you're like you, we can see by what you're doing there's some politics involved here and we don't want that in our game like people can see that and I think people are sick of it um, and so I think it's good that it's getting that many dislikes. But I think knowing the, com- I mean, not, I mean, I was going to say knowing the community, if they put out a good trailer, it won't. But I feel like they're sort of, they're sort of lost now. Because if they, even if they put out something and it's really good and it shows Battlefield's really good and it's actually going the direction people want, I reckon it's still going to get hundreds of thousands of dislikes just because of that first trailer. I feel like people are just like going to jump on that sort of hate bandwagon as well. Yeah. In some ways, people like with Call hate, of man. Duty. But people I mean, to love be fair, to hate. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was fucking garbage, as is every Call of Duty, but Infinite Warfare even more so. 